Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is biblical justice. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience that you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. For more information, go to holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. The Empty Promise of Retaliation, written and read by Ashley Moore. Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and He will grant you His blessing. 1 Peter 3 9. A family member, deeply wronged by her husband, decided that revenge would be better than forgiveness. I understand her desire for retaliation, but her choices to get even only further strained and deepened the rift in her marriage. But we all fall for the empty promise of retaliation sometimes, don't we? We delight in zooming past the car creeping in the left lane, as if that could make up for our lost time. We seek justice from the spouse who forgot something important by giving them the silent treatment. Or we continue to believe that we'll feel better if we hurt people like they've hurt us. But when those things happen, do we ever truly feel better? Does the outcome deliver on what we think it promises? Maybe temporarily we get some sort of gratification, but it is fleeting. Retaliation never completely takes away the pain of the injustice we experience. Is justice right and good when it's handled God's way? Absolutely. But in our hands, it is not actually justice. It's an emotional reaction that will only produce another injustice. And it never has the power to heal our wounds. So what could it look like for us to refuse to take the bait of the empty promise of retaliation and instead do what God has called us to do? Think through the choice to retaliate. At the height of an emotional moment, it's easy to act first and think later. But oftentimes, our impulsive actions can leave us filled with regret. Before taking action, think about all the ways the situation could go. Could we make things worse? Will the temporary satisfaction we receive from payback result in a lifetime of regret? Taking time to think through our choices is always a good idea. And if we find ourselves repeatedly in the same types of circumstances, this may mean we need to take a deeper look. Is this an emotional trigger that exposes old wounds and ultimately misplaced anger? These types of reactions are often indicators of our old pain points that need attention and care. Remember the gospel. Whether we are not yet Christians, new believers, or seasoned saints, we never outgrow our need to be reminded of the gospel. Remember that Christ sacrificed his life on the cross for our sins and the sins of others. And this reminds us that retaliation is not ours to give, but forgiveness. The gospel is our power source over sin. The gospel is the reason we can forgive because we know that Jesus will right the score, vindicating the righteous and punishing the unjust. 
Remembering the hope we have in the gospel is our weapon against the empty promises of retaliation. Before we react to something that hurts or offends us by choosing to hurt someone else or retaliate against the person who hurt us, let us do something else first. Let's work to think through our choice first by playing it completely out in our minds to see if it will achieve the result we desire. And let us apply the truth of the gospel to this situation. If either of these two options reveals that our choice to retaliate doesn't hold, then may we have the strength to respond as God called us to and receive his blessing instead. Intersecting life and faith. When choosing between retaliation or forgiveness before getting emotional, take time to think through the different ways you could react and the outcomes. See if any trends exist from the events in the past. How does the gospel apply to this situation? Further reading, A Prayer to Combat Unhealthy Comparison, Romans 5.1. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice, host of the How to Study the Bible podcast, where every single week we join together to encounter God through His Word. You can subscribe at lifeaudio.com.